Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope you're doing well. So I was coming up with a, a list, my top five favorite Parfum Smarly fragrances. And in coming up with that list, I realized I've never reviewed Layton. Like, how is that possible? I've reviewed a whole bunch of different Parfum Smarly fragrances, but not this one. So in today's video, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys the presentation of Layton and break this one down and let you know how much I like it. Which, a uh, little bit of a spoiler here, is a whole freaking bunch. So let's jump into it. Let's check it out, Layton. First up, presentation time. In terms of the box, not really a whole lot to look at as far as niche fragrances go anyway. You got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, you got your size all on the front of the box there. It's got kind of a pinstripe design here, like a pinstripe suit. And you have the Parfums de Marley logo at the top. Got nothing on the sides. You got some information on the house, on the back, as well as the concentration, Eau de Parfum. And then on the bottom, you're gonna find your batch code and your barcode. It's this uh, black ink on navy blue, kind of hard to read, but it's 630602. And then we've got the bottle, which I love. I love the Parfums de Marley bottles. And here we've got the bottle, and I love the way the Parfums de Marley bottles look. I especially love the look of Layton. So it has this really nice matte, kind of navy blue finish to it. You don't have the name of the fragrance on the bottle on Layton Exclusif. You do, but on normal Layton, you don't. On the bottom, you've got a sticker that has your badge code on it. And again, it's kind of hard to read. Cap does click into place. The cap is heavy. Everybody always talks about that. It is. And I'll go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you guys. Atomizer on these Parfums de Marley, always great. There we go. So Parfums de Marley nowadays is pretty much at the, the top of niche fragrances as far as sales go. So Parfums de Marley is right up there with the heavy hitters, the Creeds, the Maison Francis Kirk Johns, the Amouages, PDM is right there if not past some of those brands. Now some people absolutely love that because Parfums de Marley especially concentrates on making fragrances that are wearable, that are versatile, that have what some people would say is a designer sensibility to it. So yeah, their fragrances smell luxurious, they smell high end and they should because they're expensive, but they never lose sight of making fragrances that are easily worn, at least for the most part, most of their fragrances. You know, there's a couple in there that are a little weird. Now, of course, lots of niche houses do that, but a lot of times they do fragrances that are maybe a little harder to wear, harder to pull off for more specific situations. And so you'll have some people that say, man, I don't like that. I just want high end that I can wear anytime and stunt on people. And that's what Parfums de Marley does. So you have a big group of people that appreciates that. And then you do have some people that don't appreciate that because they prefer to have those fragrances that are a little uh, more boundary pushing if we're talking niche. I'm just setting the stage a little bit of what Parfums de Marley is all about, I guess. Now, as I mentioned a little bit before, there is a flanker to Layton. It's called Layton Exclusif. And that really changed mainly, mainly uh, the base of the fragrance and I don't like that one as much. It's a little bit more expensive. It's a little more animalic, a little bit darker. It does push the boundaries a little bit more than Layton does. But I think for the type of fragrance that Layton is, the original is actually better. Now, with that being said, I don't think that Layton Exclusive is a bad fragrance. I just think Layton's better. Now let's talk about this fragrance right here really quickly. When you first spray this one on, you get apple, you get lavender and vanilla that creeps up right away. So initially, the first time that you smell it, that first blast, you're gonna have some freshness in there, tempered with sweetness. But pretty quickly, that fresh apple, ooh, it gets sucked away. Kind of a, a weird way to describe that fading into the background, but that's what happens with the apple. There's also a little touch of citrus there in the initial opening, but really not very much. And most people, unless they know that that's part of the fragrance, they're probably not gonna pick it up as citrus. They're just gonna be like, oh, a little, a little fresh, sweet something. Now that vanilla that I mentioned, that is gonna become a huge player in this fragrance. So initially you get that freshness and the vanilla underneath, but really quickly that comes up like a tidal wave. Warm, it's sweet, it's sexy. And when I say sexy, 
really, really an enormous compliment pulling fragrance and attention magnet. Legitimately, I'd say in the top 1% of compliment pulling fragrances. So that vanilla comes up, it, it swirls around everything, just encompasses the whole fragrance. And you get this, this spiciness. It's really well done. At times, almost like sticky sweet spiciness that melds along with the vanilla, especially cardamom and, and bits of black pepper. And the entire time you have this I don't know if I want to call it faint, but sure, that's what we'll go with woodiness that's underneath it all, laying a bed that the vanilla just keeps leaping off of. So you get a lot of smooth sandalwood, a touch of Gaiac wood, and Gaiac wood imparts this really light smokiness, this kind of deep richness to the rest of the scent as it dries down. As I mentioned, if you are after compliments, if you're after an intention grabbing scent, Layton is one of the best ones on the market, period. My wife, loves this stuff. Now I know that she she likes a lot of different fragrances. I've talked about that on the channel, but she loves, loves Layton. And it's not just her that has given me positive feedback on this stuff. This is one of my most consistent compliment pulling scents. Now I know that is not everything when we're talking fragrances and it shouldn't be at all. But I know a lot of people out there, they're looking for that, that versatile scent, you know, that they can wear anywhere and know that people think they smell amazing, this one is one of those fragrances. And it does have that luxurious edge, that niche edge that sets it apart from pretty much every designer fragrance, which is trying to do the same thing in terms of commanding attention. So while some people are gonna hate on Layton for that very reason, because it is just made to be the most mass appealing stuff ever, other people are going to love it for that same reason. I already tipped my hand at the beginning of the video. I already told you I love it and I do. And I'll tell you going back and smelling this again and wearing it again for this review just reminded me even more of how much I love this stuff. It's insane. It is like half designer, half niche. Quality wise, niche. Higher end ingredients, higher end uh, blending just everything done to that very exacting standard that you expect from these fragrances. But then at the same time, it is made to just be really good smelling. And I know that's, that's such a simplistic way to break it down. And yet that's what it is. It's the type of scent where you smell it and you just think to yourself, dang, that smells great. Sometimes it doesn't have to be something that absolutely pushes the boundaries of everything that's ever been done. Sometimes it just has to smell really, really good. It's almost like filmmaking, where you have people that are into, you know, really, really artistic films and things that are, are truly breaking new ground. And that's awesome. But then sometimes you get something that's just really high end, that's done with a huge budget and is fantastic like uh, the Avengers. So the Avengers, extremely entertaining, great storytelling. It's done in a very entertaining way. And it's it's really fun, you know? You can just kind of turn your brain off and be like, yeah, this is, this is sick, I love it. That's like this in fragrance form. You smell it and all you think is, yeah, that's really good. Now let's talk about performance, all that good stuff. And uh, thankfully, Nothing bad to report there. Longevity, you're looking at eight plus hours, pretty easily off skin, probably closer to 10. And uh, projection above average projects quite heavily for at least two, two and a half hours off skin. So it's one of those fragrances you don't have to spray on too much of to get great performance out of. So another huge positive there. In terms of when I would wear this one, uh, winter, spring, fall, summer, probably go for something else because at its heart, this is a warm, rich, sweet, and spicy scent. You can wear it casually, you can wear it formally, you can wear it during the day, you can wear it during the evening. Absolutely, you can wear it on a night out or on a date, but don't go super heavy if you're going to the office because it does pump out a lot. A lot of times at the office, you don't want to be choking people out because then you're going to have that one old lady who catches a big whiff of something and then she's like hobbling around the office, you know? Uh, someone's got on the fragrance is too strong. I'm going to report them. Parfums of Marley Layton, is it worth picking up? In my opinion, yes, absolutely. Especially from discounters, save yourself some money. Yeah, yeah, boy, I'm there. And I will just wrap things up with saying that I think Parfums de Marley on the whole 
absolutely excels and crushes at what I was talking about earlier, which is making higher end fragrances that still retain designer sensibilities in the sense of just making them as wearable as possible. But I think that Parfums de Marly on the whole is much better at making fragrances like this one. You know, your fall and winter time or early spring fragrances that are warmer, richer, denser, deeper. Those type of scents, they seem to do a little better. Not that fragrances like Sedley or Percival or Greenly are horrible or anything like that, but they're just not at the same level as a lot of their uh, cool weather scents are. So that's gonna do it for me. Quick review of Parfums de Marly. Layton, I think it's, it's really the house is best. This stuff crushes it. Absolutely love it. Everyone that I've ever spoken to about this scent seems to love the smell. And I've gotten lots of unsolicited compliments, both from people I know and people I don't. So that's going to do it for me. If you've smelled Layton, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. See you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.